This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. New properties. Sprites have a lot. Sprites have lots of properties. Check out the two new blocks in this activity and try it and try them out yourself. Okay. And notice the difference. The different sprites can use the same animation and still look different because the properties run. Okay, so let's see what they mean here. Run the program, rotation and scale blocks. Make sure, make the first two notes look different. Use the rotation and scale blocks on the last two notes to make them look different. Okay, so we create a background. We set up our variables here. Drums, drums is the drum set. Note one is, yep, we're creating it at 50, 50, so right over here. And then we say, hey, make the animation for this variable the eighth note. Then we change the scale to 0 0.3, which I assume is about 30% of the normal size. Now note one, we rotate 20. Okay, now we create a new variable, note two. It's at 150, 50, so that must be here. Yep. And we set its animation to the exact same thing, but it looks different because we're changing the scale and the rotation. So they want us to change the scale and rotation of these last two. Let me go to sprites. And I'm going to drag out scale for note three. I'll do it under the set animation, just like they have here. And I'm going to say note three. And I wonder what 1.1 does. I bet it makes it 110%. And now let's do rotation. And I'll say note three, uh, 40% or 40 pixels. Let's see. Boom. And there we go. That one's moving. And now I'm going to do the same thing for note four, scale. Okay, so scale on, let me hit reset. Scale will be 0 0.5 and rotation. I'm going to flip it over note four. So let's do 180 and see if that flips it. But uh, yeah, so these are properties. Scale and rotation are also properties, just like X is. And we can change them by using the variable name dot and whatever property we want. Cool. Onward.